Hello, partners out in YouTube land. Dr. Reeves with Neurology here, back for a short video about Down syndrome and dementia. Now, if uh, what exactly dementia is, is something that you can't quite bring to mind, I actually have another video that you can watch on dementia, kind of about the dementia basics and definition, but by way of quick review, dementia is loss of previously held cognitive abilities in several areas, not just one. Now, the whole point with Down syndrome dementia is that it tends to occur uh, much earlier in life than would ordinarily be the case. And sometimes it's a little harder to pick up on, at least early, because many people with Down syndrome have uh, some impairment of cognition, and it can be mild, it can be moderate, or it can be severe or profound even. But wherever that person's baseline is, that they've been kind of cruising along for years at, very often it, that baseline starts to kind of sag and we start to see new behaviors uh, that are unexpected and sometimes frankly unwelcome in the, the person who has Down syndrome. So a common story I will, I will uh, hear in the office, someone will bring in a patient who often lives in a group home and they'll bring in uh, uh, Mary or Tommy or, or Bill and say, well, um, something's changing with Bill. And uh, for years he has kind of had the same routine. He goes to work, he, he helps set the, uh, the table, and he helps clear the table. That's, those are Bill's job at the home. And he kind of has started forgetting to do the job or he's not doing it quite right instead of taking the, the dishes. Uh, one of my patients who always cleared the table uh, himself, he took the dishes instead of putting them in the sink, he, he started putting them in the closet and people said, wait a second, this isn't right. So his baseline was not normal as far as compared to the rest of the population, but it was his normal baseline and he had declined from that. Now. Um, uh, very uh, unfortunately sometimes uh, unwelcome behaviors will arise. There may be changes in how the, the, the person with Down syndrome interacts with friends and family and housemates. Uh, they, a lot of the things that you would see in, in a, uh, a person who doesn't have Down syndrome as they develop a, a degenerative dementia uh, will happen with a Down syndrome patient and they have uh, some disruption in their sleep cycles and wake cycles. Um, they have uh, a change in their ability to tolerate kind of a disruption with their routine. Um, you see that from time to time. And any of these or all of these can occur and it kind of can be in sort of any sequence. <clears throat> uh, the other unfortunate thing with Down syndrome is this degenerative dementia happens rather earlier in life than it would for someone else, typically. So it's not too uncommon that I'm seeing a Down syndrome patient uh, who has begun to show behavioral changes and reduced memory, reduced ability to learn things. And they're in their, their 40s. Um, very commonly, most, it seems to me that most of the Down syndrome patients I see who have really hit their 50s have something uh, going on like that. I've seen it as young as the 30s too. So it's kind of like you would take that natural spectrum or that natural time window where dementia is so common in, in people without Down syndrome, which would be in this sort of 65 to 85 to 90 year old range, and you've shifted that down by decades. <laughs> It's important to always keep in mind with these patients that um, having Down syndrome doesn't protect you from everything else in the world. So when they bring in Mary or, or Tommy or Bill and say, you know, his behavior is different, they still need the workup. We got to make sure they don't have bad sleep apnea, have to make sure that they don't have low thyroid, they haven't developed B12 deficiency, 
And um, uh, another thing that I will typically do, because I've seen this a few times in folks with Down syndrome, is I will do an EEG, the brainwave test. Because I've seen uh, a number of times they, they bring somebody in who the, 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 the family or caregivers describe as clearly having kind of declined in the recent months to six months or a year. And they haven't had any obvious seizures. But uh, occasionally we do the EEG and I'll see that there are a lot of what we call spike wave discharges. You can think of them like sparking discharges on the brain waves. And uh, they tend to kind of fog the thinking if they happen with any significant frequency. And so I'll always look for those. Uh, and occasionally you find them. Most of the time you don't, but when you do, you surely would hate to have missed that because it's much more treatable with uh, certain kind of seizure medications. So that's a, a very thumbnail sketch of the workup for uh, a Down syndrome uh, person, person with Down syndrome who is developing a change in their cognition or memory. <laughs> so anyway, quick uh, Cook's tour. Uh, sort of thinking about the concept of a degenerative dementia occurs in Down syndrome often in the in the 40s sometimes the the, the mid to late 30s um, very commonly by the early to mid 50s yes I've seen a few people in their 60s who haven't had it you know there's there's exceptions to everything and it it should occasion uh, the same kind of discussion and the same kind of medical evaluation as for anybody else uh, make sure we don't have something else that needs to be treated see what's left over, then we manage it with an eye, uh, keeping an eye on quality of life. Thanks for your time and attention. Uh, feel, feel free to share the videos anywhere you like. Uh, they're all free. There's no sponsors. Nobody pays me to do this. And I'm in no danger of making any money from these. And I like it that way. Have a good day.